G'day all, I'm Glenn from Get Down Dirty Prospecting. I'm here today, it's uh, gonna be a stinking day on the river the detectors put away. And uh, this is what I'm using today. I've gone for a doormat sluice. We'll have a look at it, it's nice and cheap. Okay, this is what I've got today. There's the doormat. It's a good, thick sort of looking thing. Vinyl, so hopefully it lasts. All I brought is a bucket, yabby pump, shovel, two buckets, and of course the pan. That's it for today. I've got a spot just up there that I'll show you in a minute that I'm going to uh, set up and get the doormat going. And uh, down here is a spot that I found. Uh, it's just easy gravel. I'm telling you, there's probably only eight or ten uh, large flat specks in each dish. But it's a great little uh, plot spot to see how the doormat goes. I'm just digging gravel out of this hole. I'm getting about eight oh, nice big flat colours in each dish. So I will get a sample just to show you what I'm doing. Over on that bank there, I'm averaging probably uh, 14 colours. But they're half the size. <laughs> And I like big flat fish scale size. So uh, I had the mat just set up, I'll show you that. It's not working properly. I really need to set it up again, but I'm gonna put eight bucket full, uh, 10 bucket fulls through. Then I'm gonna do a little clean out just to see how it's going. Uh, and then I'll use the gravel to uh, just fix it up a bit. Okay, this is what I'm getting. Uh, scale to my finger. As you can see, there's some big colors there um, and there's all those small ones so we'll see how we go it's probably going to get too hot where I'm digging and I'll probably get into the bank and do a little bit there it's uh, in the shade <laughs> so it just makes it a bit easier I'll show you the setup I've just done the clean up at the first little run it was a rough run um, I only stopped because I saw um, this great big flatty in there. That, that one there. Um, this is six buckets. So, yeah, well, look, look, it's catching it. I'll have a look to see how much um, that I lost. I think it's a weird way of running it. Uh, it does float a little bit. But once it gets full, it seems to uh, run a lot better. And I will show you that because I'm going to get it set up better this time with more gravel at, to slide it down on. So the mat sits on the gravel. Anyway, that's the first run. That's a, I saw that one and I just stopped. But uh, there's enough gravel to make it a, a better pad. As I said, I'll do a pan and uh, out of the tailings at the end and see if there is a couple of specks. I have no doubt there's some loss. Uh, Anyway, six half buckets or a bit bit more than six, half buckets, but it's hard because I'm walking too far and I'm not happy about that. Okay, sorry about the wind. Uh, I, look, I just did that crevice and I was looking for a little drop off and, and I was just doing that. Getting some reasonable gold there. Got some reasonable gold there. Then I just took uh, this section out and Gabby pumped it. Why do you say this? <laughs> Yeah, I know. I will get back to the mat, I promise. But it, it's just, uh, just to show you. Look at this. <laughs> one handed. There we go. Now I've got you. That's one pan. Whew, some of those colours. Fish scale. <laughs> Huge. But look to my finger. Oh, that's. That's bonus, look at them all. That's a big pan. I'll just do a few more, then I'll set the mat up and um, I'll show you how I'm using the mat. And then I might do some more crevices. <laughs> the gold's here. All right, I've got it much better set out now, as you can see. Beautiful, it's running perfectly now. I had it running too fast before and it was not sitting properly. But as you can see now, I did do a test pan and I did have some ultra, ultra fine gold in there. But I'll do another, I've got enough time for another six. Uh, it's blowing a gale, so I hope it's not too bad for the camera. 
And this is the only bucket I've got. Nice square one would have been heaps better. So there's still a lot of stuff stuck in that mat. So I'll clean it out when I get home and do the final way up, but it will be adding uh, those gorgeous crevices that I've just done. I might even, after I do that, if I have time, I might have another hit of that. But uh, get back onto that and throw another six buckets full, or maybe eight, we'll see how I go. I'll do my best to uh, feed it such a windy day. I've my hat off a couple of hundred times, so I've given up with that. Now it's just a bad hair day. Anyway, here's another bucket. I started working it. I have seen colours. I love it when I see colours, they sort of peel back on the mat. Of gums. I've never seen so much toilet roll in my life. <sighs> so much shit just on the ground. Uh, it's a bit sad. I don't know why people can't dig a hole. I'm sort of not walking over it, but I have to walk around it. And it's just not one. It's like all the campers uh, seem to be doing it. In that area anyway. No toilets, so... Yep. I'm classifying it a bit this time. Last time I didn't. A little hollow spot there. That's alright. As I said, it is uh, that type of sluice. Bucks. Little homemade, not homemade, but bunning sluice. Well, I'm back home. This is the uh, take. It's it's uh, quite a reasonable little take. Let's see if it focuses in. Yeah. Some of these flakes are monster flakes. Look at all these fellas. I reckon there's over a gram there from a day. Um, the miner's moss, well, it's just like miner's moss. Uh, vinyl door mat, perfect. I mean, when I got it set up, it was good. The first time, um, it wasn't so good, but once I got more uh, gravels and set it up better, um, I, I didn't even lose any, any colors. Uh, I, I gabby pumped just to the back of the sluice uh, the doormat, <laughs> as I like to call it, and uh, nothing. So look, there's cheap, it's like 16, 17 bucks and you've got a, the perfect little setup all ready to go. How cheap's that? Anyway, catch up, see you at the weigh-in. G'day all, Glenn from Get Down Dirty Prospecting. I'm back for the weigh-in, uh, back for the five hour drive from Safala home. Uh, here's the, the weigh-in for the doormat and the crevices. Uh, during this time, uh, uh, what I found, that the doormat worked very efficient. I loved it. Uh, perfect little uh, thing. You, you could actually, what I thought was, and, and leave comments on it, is if you decided to do panning on one day, just test panning on one day, right up a river, you know, for a really long walk and did your test panning, then the next day you could just take... Uh, the, a bit of string, uh, the doormat, and a bucket and shovel. That's all you need. Just go up, spend a whole day uh, throwing buckets through. Well, you know, as many hours as you want. And then just tie it up with string, put it in your little bucket. Take your bucket, because you need to do a good gravel bed. It really works well on a nice, uh, sandy or loamy gravel bed. 
then I, I found no problems at all. I didn't even lose a colour and I was yabby pumping behind it. So, no, it was great. So, this is the way in for that. So, we'll turn it on. Tear it off. Here we go. That's it. 1.38. 1.38 grams. That's not bad. Uh, it was probably 50 50 because what I found was the second run, although you didn't see it, it got so windy. Uh, so I just gave up trying to record it, uh, the final, uh, the cleaning up and, and doing the final pan, but it was actually pretty good. Uh, I found on the bank an area that was tightly compact, like only a metre away, it was more washy. I was still getting some decent gold, but only a metre higher up, still just above the waterline. It was really tight, compact, and I I did a one bucket from there that, that I'd actually put through the sieve, so you could, I classified it, so you could see it. Uh, the rest were all just half buckets, all up. I did 12 half buckets. Uh, six from the river on the first run and then the second run was another six uh, with the classified one for you to see and just it worked well for $16 great Bunnings doormat during that um, night the wind really picked up uh, as I came back uh, through uh, all these campers and there were campers mostly young families they were just People had gone to the toilet everywhere, scattered, and the wind picked up so much that night. It was like a US ticker tape parade. Basically, when I was driving the next day to go uh, detecting, because the wind, uh, the weather had just cooled. It was so hot. This is the long weekend. The weather had cooled. Um, when I was driving along, there were just toilet rolls, thousands of toilet rolls all along the fence line. Well. Could be a little bit of an exaggeration, but there was a damn lot of toilet rolls all along the fence line, I can tell you. It didn't look too good. <laughs> anyway, because the weather had cooled, it did give me a chance. I don't want to be stuck on that hill, those hills, looking for nuggets in those temperatures. So it really cooled. So here's all the nuggets. I'm not going to weigh them. Uh, there was two half mornings there. Um, one of the mornings... Uh, the first morning I got about four grams, uh, you know, of gold. Uh, that one there's a grammar on its own. Some of these were quite deep and some of them are so tiny. Uh, it was making so much noise from the storms that we were getting in Victoria that I just gave up by lunchtime. And then I went the next day uh, to do a bit more detecting. And again, by lunchtime, but this time it started to rain. So, and it didn't stop. So I just put me poncho on, walk back to the car, two half days. So it's a bit of fun. I, I love uh, doing a bit of detecting, but it's more of a cooler time for me. I don't like um, burning. Anyway, these are the, the nuggets. Some of them are so tiny. I've got a little bit of wire gold here. And I tell you, this, this bit of wire gold was, uh, quite deep and look look at that that's a flake that is 0 0.03 0 0.03 and that one's probably a 0 0.04 or 5 and look at them so many small ones and the stock standard coil that I am using is the gold hawk gold hawk 14 by 9 coil tech coil and that's my stock standard coil I won't go smaller than that generally. I don't like it because I can get, I think a lot of these guys I see detecting, I reckon they're missing half of these nuggets because they're just out of range. And look what I am getting with this stock standard coil. So, hey guys, get out there. Get the, the 14 by nine. It's picking these up. So sensitive, uh, easy to pinpoint. I loved it. As I said, I found more than two or 300 nuggets now. Uh, with this, well, we're first with the 11 inch and then I've gone over it with the uh, 14 by 9 coil tech coil. Absolutely brilliant coil. Try it, you'll be surprised. Anyway, I hope you like the video. Leave comments as always and whether you want me to do more detecting videos, I'm happy to um, put them up. I've got a couple there, whether you want to see them or not. Leave a comment for that. Um, and also subscribe, helps the channel. Catch ya, have a good one. Bye.